When we arrive at the tavern, it is already dark. Karma pauses and turns to look at me. What? You have a nice smile, Princess Rosario. I'm glad I could make you laugh. <laughs> well, well, of course I laughed. You sounded ridiculous. It's worth sounding ridiculous just to see you smile. <laughs> You and Rumpel really are the same. The comment doesn't faze him. He smiles widely as he leaves for his room. I'm glad I could make you laugh, laugh, laugh. <laughs> oh, I cannot get those words out of my head, even though I'm supposed to be resting for the night. I think I should go see if Karma is practicing with Jury and our garland. I leave my room and go down to the reception room. Delora and Parfait let me go to the forest at night alone now, since they know that I am meeting up with Karma. Parfait is in the reception room tonight, reading a book. I was always told reading in the dark was bad for your eyes. Oh, Princess, I didn't see you. I notice that she's closed the book and I can now read the cover. She is reading Cinderella? That's my fairy tale curse. The Great War was caused by the fairy tales, right? Yes, that's right. And yet you are reading one. The curses are based off these fairy tales, after all. But why are you reading Cinderella? My curse isn't anything like the fairy tale, it's reversed. True, but the morals remain the same. In order to become Cinderella, you must be good like her. Cinderella had everything handed to her by a fairy godmother. I had everything taken away. Princess, have you truly had everything taken away from you? Compared to what I used to have, what I have now might as well be nothing. You have friendships and people who enjoy your company. No one in this tavern enjoys my company. Did you not literally just have someone tell you... <laughs> Today that they enjoy your company. <laughs> Are you sure about that, Princess? I think you just have a difficulty trusting that we all like you. Like me? Why would you like me? You've become like family here. <laughs> like Applebee's. I haven't even been here that long. It's just been a couple of months. It doesn't matter. Everyone here at the margin is family. <laughs> family? Family. What is this word? <laughs> you are saying that everyone at the Marchen is like family? Like family. Princess, you are one of my boarders. You're more than just a regular here. You live here with us. So like I said, you're family, family. I speak more with the people here than I have ever spoken to my own family. Family. In the palace, I was always alone. The only person I could speak with was Fritz. Are you going to watch Karma practice? I nod in response. Be safe, Princess. As I head to the door, I recall what happened earlier today. You're good company. <laughs> Parfait, what is the potion you make for Karma? You mean the potion I make to change his voice? He begged me to help him when he first designed his disguise. Karma makes a beautiful woman. But he didn't think the illusion was complete without a con convincing voice. You know how picky he is. Mm. Something else on your mind, princess. Karma hides his curse, but you must know the conditions for breaking it, don't you? Parfait does not answer. Or are you also keeping it a secret? Princess Rosaria, not everyone likes to talk about their curse. I think it would be better if you asked Karma directly. I just don't understand why he won't tell me everything when I am trying to help him. Just as you think your good deeds are difficult, there is something about Karma's curse that he can't come to terms with. I put my hand to the necklace around my neck. I 
still haven't performed any good deeds. Can I really do this? I'm going now. I walk out the front door and into the forest. Walk, 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 walk. I decide not to think about all of this, at least not until later. I wish this was all simpler and that karma wasn't cloaked in so many secrets. Hmm. Ooh. Mother, I went to town today. Oh? I told you not to go into town. Did father take you? He told me that it would be fun. And was it? No. Everyone looked really angry at me, but I don't know why. I've told you before, haven't I, dearest one? The townsfolk are jealous of you. Je jealous? They are bitter about a lo their, their lot in life, and because of that they will seek to you, you for <laughs> your status. You cannot trust them, Rosaria. You cannot trust anyone but me. You trusting others will only lead to heartbreak, Rosaria. You need only trust me because I will never hurt you. Uh, <gasps> John, John, John. Ooh, favors and payback. I feel like that's a good place. Yeah, we'll start next time on chapter five. Chapter five. Chapter five. Chapter five. Chapter, chapter, chapter five. How many five. chapters this game has? I don't know. We're going to find out. That's true. We've got to be getting close, I feel. I can't tell. I don't know. Bye. Goodbye.